Okay, fractional distillation. So this is the process used to uh, separate the hydrocarbons found in crude oil into different fractions. So you've probably seen a lot of this at GCC. The crude oil comes in, it's heated very strongly, and then uh, the, the, the fractions within the crude oil evaporate and they condense, depending on their boiling point, at different parts on the fractionating column. So there's a difference in temperature. Here's quite cool, down here it's very hot. Okay, so you need to know that fractional distillation separates fractions that differ in boiling points. So the fact they have different boiling points is a reason we can separate them. Okay, so when we look at alkanes and their physical properties, why do the alkanes have different boiling points? So first of all, we're going to compare a short alkane to a longer alkane. So here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 butane compared to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 heptane. Okay? Butane would have a lower boiling point than heptane. And you'll see that that is the trend, that as the chain then increases, the boiling point gets higher. So why is that? Longer alkanes have more points of contact between the molecules. They also have more electrons. So both these two factors mean that there are more van der Waals forces between their molecules. So more energy is needed to separate the molecules because the intermolecular forces are stronger and the chain is longer. That's a good catch. All right. The next bit then we're going to look at quickly what a structural isomer is. So a structural isomer is molecules with the same molecular formula but different structural formula. So if you look at this screen, this one here at the top first, all of these have five carbons and 12 hydrogens. But they're just arranged in different ways. Okay? So they are different molecules, they've got different names. This one's 2-methylbutane. We've got one, two, three, four carbons, so that's the butane part. Methyl, because we've got one branch coming off here on the second carbon, so it's 2-methyl. We don't call it the third carbon because we count from the side, it gives it the lower number. So it's 2-methylbutane. Here we've got one, two, three carbons in the main chain, so that's propane, and then we've got two methyl groups both coming off the second carbon, so it's 2,2-dimethyl, di because there's two of them. Okay, They all have the molecular formula C5H12, they're structural isomers because they've got the same molecular formula but different structural formula. If you look at these three here, these three are not structural isomers of these ones. So a common mistake is just, I think you need the same number of carbons. These have five carbons, yes, but they do not have 12 hydrogens. These actually have 10 hydrogens. Okay? So they are not structural isomers of pentane, but they are structural isomers of each other. This is a different group of structural isomers here, because they all have five carbons and 10 hydrogens. So, how does how do having how do how does branching then? So when we say branching, you know, not having a straight chain, having branch coming off, how does that affect the boiling point? So here we got one, two, three, four, five. So five again, pentane compared to two methyl butane. Okay, so the more branched it is, the lower the boiling point. They've got the same molecular mass. Okay, but the same molecular mass, they have the same number of electrons. So you'd think van der Waals forces would be the same, but they're not, because there's less surface area of contact between the molecules when it's branched. So these branched molecules have less surface area of contact, or less points of contact between the molecules. This means fewer van der Waals forces between the molecules when it's branched, so less energy needed to separate the molecules when they're branched.